What is going on, guys? It is TJ here from Ghost Rider Lax, um, and I posted something about a probably about a week ago or even earlier, um, asking if you guys want to see what was in my gear bag. Um, a bunch of you said you did, uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, and I'm going to go, you know, from what my bag is to sticks to helmets, you know, pretty much everything. Um, as a bunch of you know, I do play pretty much everywhere: goalie, defense, attack, midi. Um, but, you know, recently I've been playing just two positions, which is our, which are attack and goalie, just to, you know, get myself going. Um, so first, I'll go with my sticks. Um, so I'll go with my starter right now, which is an STX shield, strung up with the original piece of East Coast Meshed. Um, there's the channel. Uh, this is fully broken in. Uh, it's on the ECD carbon. Um, one of the signature shafts, and it does have one little chip mark on it, but it still performs just the way I need it to. Um, it's really lightweight. It's very, very good. Um, so next is my backup goalie stick. Um, there's another STX shield with um, ECM black. I uh, just want to see what the difference is. There's also the channel. Um, also on another EC signature shaft. Uh, both of them I love. Uh, I use the one with the original ECM just because it's a lot softer and it breaks in a lot faster. Um, so then comes playing attack. Um, normally when it comes to field, I'll use this, which is my metric U with my Gush. Ghost Rider Lax theme colors, so neon green, black, and white. Um, there's the channel. It's on a Gen 5 uh, Dragonfly Epic C30. Uh, very nice stick. Love it. Um, I got this off for trade for, from a guy named Ross at Across Unlimited of Annapolis. Um, so yeah, uh, that loved a lot. Uh, next is for box, so if I ever, you know, hear of a box game, I always try to jump into it. Um, so it's my pinched Mad Maverick Metric um, with a throne, I want to say privateer pocket, I think that's what it's called. Um, but it's not strong with throne, it's strong with Chesapeake, uh, Chesapeake Mesh. Um, so that, I really like this. I got it from my boy Second City Strings, um, which was really awesome how he gave it to me. I traded him for I traded him a pair of gloves for two heads, um, so I thought it was really cool. Um, so next, uh, I guess I should go into my helmets. So there's a bunch of you know. Again, I play goalie. So this is my goalie helmet. It's a Warrior T2 I got um, about a while ago. Um, I've had this for three and a half years now, I think. Um, and I use it every day. Um, this guy, Grunt Lacrosse, I uh, met him at Shootout for Soldiers one year. And then it's got Shootout, or um, Wounded Warrior Project, so I do a lot for them. Um, I've just got a regular hockey goalie throw guard. Um, and that's that. Um, so for field, I've got my company helmet, which is matte black and lime green with the green uh, chin strap. Um, it is a true lacrosse helmet. Um, I traded for um, I traded for this, thinking that I really like the colors lime green and matte black. Uh, so that's where I got my company colors from. So what I'm trying to do is um, create myself one, see if Maverick can do it for me, um, and get instead of true, have like Ghost Rider or my name or something like that. Um, it's also got Iroquois and U.S. Safe flag on the back, which I thought was really cool. Um, next is for when I play box indoors, just to mess around and have fun. Um, is my matte gray and Carolina blue Cascade R uh, with my iodine visor in it. Um, it looks really nice. Um, and then, of course, I got my battle mouth guard with fangs on it. I've got like six of them um, because I keep losing them, and then I figure out they're still in my bag. Um, this is an Oakley visor, and I did get this recertified. Um, so it is recertified and my lime green one is not so that one I'm still waiting on um, so next is my bag 
Um, I've got my Maverick Monster bag. Um, there's a bunch of you know. Uh, I've had that for a while. Um, opening it up. Um, first thing that comes out is my chest pad. It is the OG Cell chest pad. Um, I gotta get a new one soon because this one, every time I take a shot to the chest, it always needs a bad well. Um, and it is fairly old and fairly used, so it's definitely something I gotta get new. Um, I guess I'll stick with my goalie stuff. Um, so these are my gloves. They're Warrior Buzz Kills, I think they are. Yeah, Buzz Kills. I've had them for almost three years also. Um, and they're the most comfortable gloves. Um, I do have a backup pair just in case I do wear these out a little bit too much. I got a pair of regulated twos, all white. But for these, I like these. And they've lasted me for like three years, so I don't think I'll ever go back. Um, so then, uh, I've got a bunch of my, you know, stuff when I play attack and whatnot. So the first thing is my chest pad. Um, it's a vapor, Nike Vapor chest pad. Um, I'm actually buying a new one soon because I don't like the way this one fits me. Um, it's a little bit too small, and what I'm actually getting is really cool. Uh, but this one, definitely, um, I might actually sell this one soon because uh, I really don't need it. Um, so if you guys are interested, uh, let me know. It's some Nike Vapor. It's used twice maybe. Uh, so just let me know if you guys want it. <coughs> um, Next are going to be my gloves. I've got two pairs. I've got my backup pairs, which are my high school ones. Um, my high school was maroon and white, and I bought these just because. Um, I've worn them ever since, so those are definitely the ones I like. Um, MD4s. I forgot what the name of them were, but got them. Uh, but these are the ones I use more and more. Warrior Regulated 2's, all white, um, as you guys can see I have used them a lot, the buckles come out, um, might just cut off the cuffs by themselves and leave them out, I'm not sure, but, uh, love these, wouldn't go back to anything else. Um, next are my arm pads, so I've got two pairs, I always bring two pairs just in case, the ones I wear are STXL 2's, um, these I got for like 15 bucks one day when I went to Models. Um, they've lasted me ever since. Um, the next one I got these for actually 10 bucks. Um, I got these at a yard sale, and they're Brian Low Pros, I think, uh, from Midi. Um, I have been wanting to sell these for a while, but the more and more that I play, and the more and more I find out these actually fit me a lot better compared to myself, so I'm actually keeping them. Um, so yeah, that's my gear bag, um, I did have another bag in here, but I took it out because I haven't, uh, I was supposed to play last night, never got the opportunity to play because I don't think anybody ever went out to the game. Um, so, uh, I had a bag and it had like a bunch of mesh, um, mesh, strings, a lighter, like everything pretty much that a, you know, a stringer and a cross player need for a game was in there. Um, now cleats, I do have my cleats. So I've got two pairs of cleats. Um, one of them is when I play for goalie. One of them is when I play goalie. The other one is when I just play out. So now play out, I've got a pair of Nike Vapor Low Pro or Nike Vapor T D two Low Pros. Um, I think they're the most comfortable cleats. They are really um, narrow, so if you have a uh, wide foot, I wouldn't recommend these. Um, for a while I was complaining, but then I got over it because they finally broke in. Um, and then my next cleat is the Nike Fly Posits. Um, they're kind of old, but I got them for like 15 bucks, so couldn't go wrong with that. Um, and there's my other one. So yeah, that's my gear bag, guys. Um, I will have a for sale video coming up very soon. I'm trying to sell a bunch of stuff. Um, I've got four or five shafts, uh, like two, I, I believe two heads, or one head right now. Um, so... 
Actually, yeah, two heads right now. So let me know if you got. Uh, I will post a video or pictures of them on my Instagram for what I have for sale. Um, for now, guys, always comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back with you later.